The average person spends around £400 a year on servicing and maintaining their car. And yet when it comes to our own bodies, we seem to be quite happy to just leave things to chance. For many people, the idea of a health check or MOT seems entirely alien because after all, we know our bodies and we know when things go wrong. But do we? At some point in our lives, most of us decide we would like to take better care of ourselves, both physically and mentally. But how on earth do you know where to start? For most of us, this journey begins by making changes to our lifestyle. We try and eat better, get some exercise in and improve our sleep. Oh, and we always try and reduce the amount of stress we've got. But once we've done all that, how do we know if it's really making a difference? One of the most useful investments you can ever make in your health is getting a decent, high quality health check. This is because a health check will not only tell you where you are in terms of your health now, but it'll also tell you about your risk for future illness. So if you did decide you wanted to get a health check, how do you know which is the right one for you? Well, this is a particularly difficult problem because lots of companies offer lots of different types of health checks. And to make matters even worse, within the same company, you often find there are different tiers or grades of health check according to how much you want to pay. At a basic level, the NHS health check is available to everyone over the age of 40, and it's really good for what it offers. It screens people for cardiovascular disease and diabetes, and has a quick look at mental health and various other issues. The problem with the NHS health check, of course, is that it's limited by finance and time and resources. Therefore, you might realistically say, I'd like to put some extra money into this and see what I can get from a private side. And this is where the problems really begin. You can pay thousands and thousands of pounds for a health check. In fact, some companies offer £6,000 health checks and will check you for everything. You can have your entire body scanned. You can have more blood tests and more consultations done than anyone else in the world. And you can still get hit by a bus tomorrow. Ideally, a health check should not be something that's so expensive you have to remortgage your house. But on the other hand, it shouldn't be so cheap that it misses out various important aspects of your health. If you are considering spending several hundred pounds, if not more, on a health check, I would advise that you always check that these five key points are met before signing up. Number one, making it personal to you. Before you sign up to any health check, it's really important that you know the service you're gonna get is something that's individually tailored to your health needs. Why on earth would you want to go for a health check where they ask the same regurgitated and repeated questions that mean nothing to you? Number two, get a doctor to do it. Now this sounds really patronizing and there is really nothing wrong in getting an adjunct health professional of any form to help run through a health check. However, if you're trying to get something that's individualized and tailored to your health needs, it's really useful to have a doctor be able to take your history and examination. This is because they can tailor it to your individual health profile. By not following its tick box process that we talked about in question one, a doctor is able to go off the main script. And by doing this, we can focus a health check that's really designed for you. Number three, get the appropriate test done. Time and time again, I keep looking at health checks that show little phrases like, we test 150 different parameters of health, or we do uh, an assessment on a bicycle whilst you're eating an orange to see if your oxygen levels drop down whilst you've got pips in your mouth. Most of this, of course, is absolutely rubbish, and there are a variety of sets of tests that really don't mean anything. The key to knowing which test to do as part of a health assessment really come down to that individualization we discussed at the beginning. Everyone should have a basic physical examination and certain tests should come with that. But in terms of what blood tests you do, well, these should be individual to your patient risk. If you're a 55 year old man, you should have a different set of blood tests than if you were a 20 year old woman. Number four, follow up and feedback. When it comes to getting the results of your health check, it's really useful to have the same person that did the initial assessment feed those results back to you in a way that means something. It's quite easy to just be given a pile of blood test results and say everything's fine. Here's your traffic lights. Reds, you're gonna die. Greens, you're okay and you can go a bit further. But what does that really mean? Sometimes in medicine, we certainly have a lot of little numbers and letters and acronyms that are really useful for us when you've been medically trained for 20 years, but aren't particularly helpful for the average guy who just wants to know if he's healthy. Number five, taking responsibility. Whoever does do your health check, it is their responsibility to look after the results and do something with them. If it shows that you've got high blood pressure, we should then treat your blood pressure. If it shows you've got diabetes or cardiovascular risk or anything, 
then really we should be looking at trying to treat those wherever possible. Of course, we should make sure your NHS GP is involved, but when it comes down to actioning and treatment, it shouldn't be turfed to someone else to do. When it comes down to a health check, the biggest question you have to ask is how much do you really want to know about your health? And if you're somebody that's quite happy boasting that they've not been to their doctor for 20 years, then great, you can ignore this. If you're somebody that really wants to take an interest in your health and try and move forward and try and optimise the things you've got, prevent disease for the future and really try and make the best of your life as you can, then getting a decent health check is a really good way to start. Mm -hmm.